you know, what you say, what Tish? Is being at a concert like that <clears throat> what blew my mind. So of course we're backstage with Snoop and Warren G and Game and all, all these other people, right? And so of course Snoop has his own space. And then when you walk out of Snoop's space, there's like a a bunch of people like in a courtyard, right? It's nothing but cribs backstage. And then you walk out to and on the stage, because that's where we were. And you just see all these white people and you're just like, if they only knew what was backstage. <laughs> if they only knew. That backstage, man, it's man, just- it's a whole different. And it's so impressive to see yeah. them turn it on. Yeah, like they're backstage, it's a whole different thing. But when they walk onto that stage and they just turn it on, I'm watching Mike as like, yo, you was <laughs> in the green room, the, the, the whatever, you know what I mean? And then boom, he's, he's you know, he's for the five, yeah. turn it, you know, he's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's, he's, he's doing his thing, yeah, he's killing yeah. It's a another, another thing that's a guilty pleasure of mine, I love seeing people get rejected to come to the back. Oh, when they be trying and, they, and the finagle failed and it's just like, like uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You know what the funniest thing is for me? That's, that's cool. But the cherry on the cake, even with that is, normally people won't be able to bring their cameras. Like you have to have so much clearance before yeah. you can bring your camera back. Yeah. I Tiffany, I carry my cameras everywhere. So they're like, yeah, ma'am, you can't bring this in. You can't bring this in here. And Tiffany will look yeah. Somebody. Oh yeah. Pour us right through. That's always the best when they when they say that's my graphic designer. Yeah, they with me. <laughs> they, they with me. Me. Oh, that that is the best, man. That is, that is the best. Yo, I will also. Well, how about how about this? This this is another negative on the on the on the graphic designer. How about when um they they want you to design something right, and they hit you with oh damn my mind just went blank. They, they you they they hit you with a design, man. They were like oh. Uh, Damn, I just went blank. They just went blank. <laughs> That's what I hate. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I just nah. can't. Just play. I just play. No, one, one yeah. of the things I know I hate while you try to get it back is all right, all right. when they describe something and don't describe something, be like, I want it to look like this, but mm. not like that as much. Oh, and yeah. Kind yeah. Of put this in. Right. You, you, you get what I'm saying, right? Like, right. You know, like, right. Like, that's the idea I have. That's what I wanted to say. When the design is, so, when their idea is so trash. I mean, <laughs> I know, I know, I know it's up to us to like, you know, make it amazing because that's what we do as graphic designers. We got to create the, you know, whatever it is. But their idea is so trash. You have nothing to work with. You just got to create something from nothing. And then whenever you give them something that, okay, that's what they asked for. One, you give them exactly what they asked for. Right. Whether whether they whether you think it's great or not, you give them exactly what they ask for. Just okay, just look at the money, look at the dollar sign. Okay, cool, that's what they want. Cool, you give them exactly what they wanted, and then they go, "Oh no, nah, this ain't no." Nah. And they and they start talking about take this off, take this off, take this off, or no, nah, change that. That's not like no, that's what you wanted. Man. What I mean, the diamonds on the <laughs> oh. per your emails. This is what you request per your emails. And I never sir. do that because at this point. I used to have to do that shit. I don't do If I don't. No, oh, no. Nah. I charge an irritation tax because my first consultation is free and I know exactly how much you are going to irritate me during this process. <laughs> so your your price could have been 500, but it might be 1500 because you. An irritation know. tax. Oh, yeah. Yo, you when, don't I, I, look. So, so, so let me tell you something. I've never when, done that before. When, you Tish, when Tish introduced me to the irritation tax. You gotta price yourself out the bush, bro. <laughs> like, cause and again, so like, like, like Trevor had always y'all are putting me on game right you know, now. Trevor had always mentioned to me like, yo, you, you gotta take time to take your breaks, find your peace, bro. Like, it ain't always about it. Cause sometimes you just want to be able to get the money, go. I can knock it out. Right. When she and so I, my system was the fuck it. Like, yo, I charge me white men. Like, if you give me a bullshit design, oh, I'm gonna do it. And when you go, oh nah, this ain't nothing like I want it. Per your email, this was your request. Uh-huh. Since you didn't ask for mock-ups and you want to start from scratch, that's a whole <laughs> nother price you got to pay. And then oh. they were like, nah, I'll just take this one. I know. And please I know you will. <laughs> Here's the thing. You literally, like, your consult should be free if mm-hmm. they decide to go with you because you need to know exactly how much they're going to get on your nerves. 
you know exactly who you can and can't deal with. I literally had a, con a consult with somebody and I should build his ass for this shit, but for two hours. But I told him, I said, if you do not let me do my job, I do not want this job. I am not hurting for money and I am not a salesperson. Yeah. Well, the customer's always right, blah, 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 blah. I said, no, that's, I don't know why people believe that. Yeah. I don't even, <laughs> yeah. Because you don't even know what you're up You just know what your eye is trying to see. I said, if right. I can show you where it's, I said, the trend in graphics is simple. And you have right. to, like you said earlier, it's like fashion. If the trend in graphics is simple and Best Western took their logo and turned it into a BW, Jack in the Box took their old logo and literally turned it into script in two different colors. And they're like, well, McDonald's never changed their logo. I know you a goddamn lie because they change everything else around it. Yeah. Which is why they now have gray brick inside and there's gray everywhere. And then they have all these different things. I said, there's a branding guide that they send out to people and you're not even prepared should your business grow and become a franchise because you Dunkin' Donuts isn't even a donut no more. It's a coffee cup. That's yep. a Dunkin'. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And, and it's Dunkin'. And just like that McDonald's thing, it take a graphic out to know that because actually that McDonald's sign has changed frequently. Mm. The M's have changed a lot in oh, different yeah. type of fonts, different type of sizes, and mm -hmm. different type of stuff. Same thing with like stuff like John Deere. I know that's like way far for those. No, Nick, we know what John. I'm from the woods, Seattle. Yeah, 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 we know that. We got woo she. That was, we towards, country, the, that was towards the listeners. Okay, all like, I know is Verizon. Yeah, okay, yeah, for the listeners, Verizon listener. just changed their font. That's all they did. <laughs> that's it. They yeah. was like, you know what? New you said Verizon. Yeah, Verizon yeah. got a new font. <laughs> no, Verizon used to be. I remember before Verizon was Verizon, it was Voice Stream. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> and so they took the Voice Stream thing, and then they made it a check. Then they took the when the guy said, "Can you hear me now?" And he went over to Sprint. They changed their logo again. They read every time something happens for them, they redefine themselves. And people yeah. don't realize that's why I say brand management. Because when they say, "Oh, yeah. I just, when you tell me you just need a logo," that's the last thing that you really need. Your logo right. is the end, selling your stamp. Yeah. You need business development. I had somebody call yesterday and she's like, hey, you want to manage a client? I said, what, like brand manage? Or what do they need? They're like, no, they need day to day. And I was like, who are they and what do they do? And I was like, no, they need business development. Because you don't yeah. even know, you don't, your manager handles your overflow. Your yeah. agent finds you business and your brand manager makes sure you're prepared for opportunities that may or may not be visible. Right. Right. So who do you think you need more just starting out? This is uh, laying down facts. Y'all better be <laughs> writing. Y'all better be taking notes, man. That's a consultation right there. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all better be taking notes. I'm learning. I'm learning. But it, te but it teaches you, like, not only your lingo and your language, but it also teaches you the language to tell to your clients. Like, just how she said, when someone asks you for a logo, I'd be flat out honest. I'm like, now, are you looking for a logo because you're ready to be serious about what you're moving into? Or is this to encourage you to go do something? Mm. I was like, is there's a my ass is when somebody asked me, I just wanted a logo. Yeah, every I'm time like, you ask them, just like, because I know people that got have paid for logos and ain't done shit. But it was like, yo, that man. was supposed to be your boost, I guess, to start something. Like, if I get the logo right. done, everything else is going to fall. Put, it, put like, it this way. I've been graphic designing for, you know, uh, going on 10 years. But before, like, I've only had my, my own logo. I've been designing like I think like six years before I even designed my own logo. Yeah. Like yeah. I should I should have had my, my first logo. My first logo should have been the you know what I mean? I can beat your store. You wanna hear something, Chris? What's up? You talking about your own logo after 10 years. I've had three skincare clients. Three, count them. One, two, three. The last skincare client I had was one of my friends, and I hope she's not gonna get offended when I tell this story. I've literally told three people what to do with their skincare line. No, you need to do this. No, you need to do that. No, this doesn't smell that good. No, this is not creamy enough. No, blah, 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 blah. Well, all we need is a logo. They paid me $80 <laughs> for a logo. And I gave, you know, I gave, I told them like, yo, you can go get it cheaper here. Cause I have like a gang of just different resources. Nobody has listened to me. You know what I did? I went and made my own skincare product. I'm literally 20 jars from being sold out in a pandemic, picked it up. Two and a half weeks ago, made over $2,500 in skincare lotion when motherfuckers ain't even got jobs. Yup. Like, it's to the point right now where I'm not even telling you, like, even with new clients, it's like, well, why aren't you, why aren't you drumming up new business? Because I would rather build out my own ideas. Yeah. 
I don't want to do what you guys want to do. And that makes yeah. no sense to do it. Like sometimes it's just really, really, really hot air. Yeah. I go to FedEx every day. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I just like for me, I applied my uh the regular life goals and motivations I was taught by like my parents and my elders about, you know, having stability, having a safety net to be able to go do this and flipped it to my advantage. Like I said, my mom has always told me since I was a child, you are never going to have a boss. That shit will never sit well with you. Yeah. Um, you're going to always have to be in charge. So I was like, yeah, right. And so I never thought I'd be my own boss. Yeah. And so in doing so, like, you know, you know, I'm blessed to be able to like be in this quarantine to be like doing the stuff I'm doing with all deaf, but it's not like how, you know, I was working with all deaf last year, but I was working for them, not mm -hmm. with them. Yeah, like, and that change is something that's completely different because, like, now there's a base there, and now it's able to be able to branch out into the way you want to. Like, now I'm able to be able to provide like clientele, for, like, say, like my uh, folks, like my brother as well, like, like Trevor and stuff. Like, there's a project I don't feel like doing, but I don't want to leave it off the table. And it's like, yo, I have to, we have a whole graphic design tribe. It's like, why not take that now and start spreading yeah. that out to everybody? Like, hey, yo, you want this, and I'll just take my finder's fee cut. Here you go. Yeah. It makes me feel so good to see, to send an invoice, <laughs> to send an invoice with my company name on it and they write the check to my company name and I pay myself from my company. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I know that there's probably people who are going to watch and feel like, well, how do I get started? And I'm the only way I got started is when I had the carpet ripped from under me. Mm. Oh, like, yeah. Once you get laid off, like a fire is something different because you probably did something or was a fucked up situation. But my last job was excellent. I still have stock in that company that the CEO bought for me. Yeah, wow. bought me leaving because I did so well at that job. And when you have the CEO, the CTO, and the COO fighting over you to be their executive assistant, that means that you do everything that they don't want to, which means that I can run a company. The only job that I can't do inside that company right this minute is IT to our I um IT support. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know coding. I'm not going to yeah, upload right. the cloud, but everything else I was trained to do. So working for somebody and not making at least $200,000 did yeah. it down right. It was like, yeah. oh, you got to figure this out on your own. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was uh, I was also fired, um, not in a glorious way as you. Mine went down <laughs> burning in flames uh, so <laughs> bad that I, I took Trevor with me. I was like, you know what? Let's all get fired. Fuck it. Let's let's all just say fuck this shit. Get the carpet ripped and go be great. Hey, fuck everybody, Trevor. Am I right? You're Trevor, right. Right. That's right. Hilarious. Only That's difference real, is <laughs> he got to regularly walk out. I had to crunch my way out. Now they probably noticed in the previous episode. Uh, the day I got fired, I had just came from the hospital after having a, a knife go through my foot. Mm. I had to get stitches and stuff. So I actually had to crutch my way out of Apple as they walked me out in front of everybody and stuff. Wow. Uh, and then normally though, they give you, huh? Why did you get fired? So there was this manager that we had. You put all the you alarms on all the phones. <laughs> oh, I oh, no, no, no. Because here's the thing. I always used to think this was my fault and it wasn't my fault. We got no. set up. So the man, this manager was getting ready to leave and go to another job. And so what he I, what he had told us was like, there's a certain amount of time you have to return the computer. And so if it uh, if nothing is wrong with it, they can exchange it out for another one and you just pay the uh, remaining balance. So I was like, oh, okay, bet. So I decided to bring back my iMac, return it, and then apply that to a new computer and then just pay out the rest. Apparently, you weren't supposed to do that. It was way past the time that it was, and they had just bypassed it and went through it. But someone caught it in the system, and then they brought us in, and they were just like, yeah, you're not supposed to do that, so you're fired. But there's another reason why. It was pretty much the ammunition they needed to let me go. Um, and I'll, again, I'll like, What is that smell? That smells like something. Yeah. And they, they smell <laughs> but, but I'm gonna have a whole, I'm gonna have a whole episode about my Apple experience because I want people to understand that um, it was a great experience because it opened my eyes to being. If people think it's hard for a person that's of the LGBTQ community to have to live within a heterosexual business environment, you have no idea what it's like to be a six foot three black man in a LGBTQ based 
job. Oh, man. Oh, and I'm going to tell that story. And again, it doesn't have to do with Apple. This yeah. is to show the importance of people and the way of how they think towards yeah. their life. But you know what? I think that you should save that idea and you should write a whole pilot about it. Yeah. Because... Oh, about Apple? Oh, no, man. Not even no, 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 no. Your, yeah, yeah, your theme. Your like, theme. Yeah, about yeah. being straight in an LGB, like, 20, like, for instance, my grandmother is, she'll be 80 next year, I believe. She'll be 80 next year. But to have over the last 80 years from a black president to people just being able to get married and be gay, it's mind blowing for her. Mm. I, I just want to, I just picture your grandma being in the house like, I can't believe they got all these bull daggers on TV now. <laughs> you did, you boy, you couldn't well, never see these girls know, on TV. doesn't even talk like that. Like, she's a sweet old lady, but like. How much of this are you keeping in this show? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> How much of this are you keeping in this show? Listen, man, hey, pe- look, people to see my lives, <laughs> I, go, I go in, look, I am from the deep south. It's a bulldagger. Everybody racist. Like, every, like, yo, my life, if you met my grandparents, they, they mean well, but they don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, I've never, I've I'm never, never too old to. right. Yeah, I've never right. in my life seen someone call a Mexican a spick, and then they came in their house and served them dinner. Oh man, that's it. Yeah. I don't even know no, how the is. context of that started. Yeah, yeah. But he, but Juan was up in there eating Sunday dinner with us. Yeah, it was cool as shit. Man, I had a relative uh, come into town, man. You know, you know, when somebody comes, you got to do all the L.A. things. Right. And so yeah, one yeah. of that is Korean barbecue. Right. You got to have Korean barbecue when you're out here. And so I took him to Koreatown. We're in Koreatown getting Korean barbecue. He There's an outdoor little bar right while you wait. There's a little outdoor bar there. It's a, 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 a I'm not going to say the restaurant. But uh, and so and so. One of his glasses uh, fell on, on accident, whatever it was, an empty uh, glass, but it fell and it broke. And I was like, oh, snap. So I'm trying to, and my, <laughs> the relative, <laughs> my relative, he said, he said, I don't worry about it. I'll give them Chinese to get it. I was like, dad, yeah, it, it, oh, shit. I said, <laughs> yeah. Damn it, dad, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna snitch on my pops like that, but hey man, I was like, yo, what that we're literally we're literally in Korea town. Okay, all right, let's talk about graphic design. I can go on. Hey, hey, bro, look, I, look, all, all of us, you know, we're from the south. Tish isn't, but she's heavily influenced with people from the South, so she knows she is, that that culture is embodied in her regardless. So we know how culturally ignorant our parents and ancestors can be. Well, we, we, not even just that. You're just too old to give a shit about what you say. Like That too. Nobody worry about that. Yeah, at <laughs> Ain't nobody worry about that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Once he said it, he was like, what's wrong with you? My bad, my bad, my bad. I know it's all good, man. No worries, no worries at all. All right, but yeah, they don't, they don't, they don't care. So it's just like if, if they, and they, it's I, like, no, I can go apologize talk? to my dad real quick. No, <laughs> hey man, look, I feel like this. If you went through civil rights, like you get a pass. This is like, Bruh. I'm just saying. Hey. People were a lot. Michael, I watched a documentary and I was like, oh, he was super young because I'm almost forty. You know what I'm saying, like. Yeah. That's not that old to be assassinated. The fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, they was young. They was young, young. Most all of the black, uh, the Black Panthers, they wasn't, but like, they wasn't even maybe twenty. Like, they was young. And the way that history paints it, just like the, I had no idea not to go off super off topic, but growing up, the way that they teach you in school, I didn't even know Egypt was in Africa. I believe you. No, yeah. I believe you. They it's still people that, that don't. It's still people that don't know that. <laughs> yeah, most that's people don't know that that South is up and North is down. But the know. enemy is teaching you. That's a whole other subject. We can't yeah, that's a whole. You know, look, that, look. But I'm, I'm, I'm definitely uh, have a subject on that where we just we 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 diving in. Y'all are welcome to join because um, that is a whole other t- subject of going into the deep history of this earth that we have been cultivating for years, you know, if you get what I'm saying. But, you know, we're going to get back on topic. Uh, <laughs> you know, 
you know, get back on top. But of go, going back to what you were talking about of being released from the fruit company, uh, <laughs> I'll say it was I real. Care. It was mad. Yeah, I don't care either. Uh, it was mad weird too because on that same train, I did the transaction, so they got rid of both of us. But being a designer is like I ain't, I'm not scared of no chick, you know. And then people in there be they were so like overhyped about the company and then they scared to lose their money like dude i work for myself i'm here because i want to be yeah you know what i mean that's a difference like you're here because you got to be like i'm not tripping i work for myself this is just extra yeah i, I, I need the computer i get discounts on computers it's a, it's so, a different level of confidence man is that 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 graphic design not really though yeah yeah there's a different level of confidence that graphic designers have when they have other hustles you know what I mean? Cause it's like, yeah, you know, you know, I can, I can really, the, the, the graphic design is never going to end. Like you can, you can always, you can do this forever. Right. You know what I mean? That you're, you're literally, like you said, that we're, we're big major keys, you know, major key alert. You know, this is what we do. You know what I mean? It, it's design. And so Another. whatever, yeah, whatever, whatever, literally, whatever, uh, we the best. All right. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, they whatever. Don't want you uh, to win. I was just about to do it too. They don't want you to win. <laughs> <laughs> Always remember, you smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, like, you know, what other jobs or side hustles you want to do, you can always graphic design or the other way around. You could have a whole full time job and graphic design side hustling. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And that could be and that could be your 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 uh uh what is it? Like having fun money. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have your actual finances and then graphic design, you could literally do whatever the hell you want to do with it. That could be a separate account to do get your shopping in, get your J's, get your whatever you want. You know what I mean? That's that's I th there's always like literally I look at I price things now. I know I'm sure y'all do the same thing, but I look at a pair of shoes. And it's like 150, something like that. I'll be like, all right, that's a cool little uh, flyer or something. <laughs> like, <I'll be> like, <laughs> yep. I yeah, I do that before. too. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'll be like, all right, bet. I'll go ahead and buy it right now. I know I'm going to get a flyer in somewhere or I'll, or I'll let somebody know, like, hey, man, I got you on your thing. Uh, boom, boom. Uh, like, boom, get it real quick. <laughs> like, a quick 200. How, how many <laughs> logos this PlayStation going to cost me? Bam. <laughs> Real talk. I'll be pricing things with logos or designs. I'll be like, okay, cool. That's a cool logo real quick. All right, bet. I'll knock it out. And that, that, that sharpened me up like with that type of stuff just after being let go from Apple because two things it taught me. One, I'll never forget, but like the day I got let go, this guy that um, uh, I swear, we call, his name is Andrew Kim. Shout out to Andrew Kim. I'm calling his name out because he looks like Leslie Chow from the hangover. Like if that man came in and they both hugged and like, yeah, we brothers, I would not question that at all. Yeah. Um, one of the things he had told me was uh the day I was even was he was like, Yo, this is not the end for you. He was like, For some of these people here, this is it. He was like, Yo, I've never seen you, I've never thought of you sticking around here for the long haul. Yeah. And then the bittersweet thing that made you realize, like, you know. One, having someone like Trevor in my corner to keep feeding me these things, like, you know, the enemy is teaching you, you know, these boundaries that you put on yourself, you just have to put into to, into you. Being let go, um, I worked at uh, the fruit company for five years and never made full-time. I, <laughs> I worked like a full-time and never made full-time. And the biggest kick in the ass was watching folks there for only three to four months get a full-time position and me giving a bullshit answer as to why I didn't get it. And so I was just like, why well, put all of this into them when I can just put all of this into me? Yeah. Well, design for yourself. Design that's for yourself, man. That's my biggest lesson in this whole thing. It's like, you over here telling everybody else what to do. You can literally make anything look the way it's supposed to. Never forget to design for yourself. Yep. 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 Not even, not even trying to be corny or cheesy, but you can literally design your life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, can, no, let, you can really be cheesy. Let's go into tips. Let's go. We're we going there. Tips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> man. Going. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. Like, uh, always keep elevating everything. I think, uh, one, having, having a tribe like ourselves around us to keep, like, you know, especially like, not only you, Trevor, but even more like lately with, uh, Tish, uh, pushing and stuff like that rebranding yourself like I, I changed my logo like my stuff used to look like the wb logo and and i knew that too and i was like i i was playing off of that 
Yeah. And I was like, yo, like having making these moves not only just as a graphic design, but like doing acting, doing like, you know, doing the, the comedian stuff on, on social and stuff like that. And the internet, it was like, yo, I needed to change my branding. And so when I came with that new logo and I was like, yo, this is it. Unlike most people like, oh yeah, I got a logo. Now I'm not gonna do nothing. It unfolded me to start going, okay, now what colors do I like using? Okay, these are gonna be the colors I want to stick with to make my stuff That's a guy. Across, the, yeah. across the board. Yeah. What is my mission? Uh, one big thing that Tish always mentions that I, I always make sure people do is what was my five accomplishments? Mm. And, and you know, Will didn't like me when we oh. were like. Let me tell no, no. Here's the story. Let me tell yeah, you. Let got me. My shirt on. I like that shirt, Will. That's she got, shirt you got. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Who print, shit on? I know. Who printed hey. out? <laughs> yeah, boy. Here's the thing. That? I didn't have nothing. I did not not like Tish. What I did not like was that Tish was charging these low ass prices. Like she was Frank Lucas. I was hey like, man, I'm the worst with that shit too, man. The price, I was like, the low price, no, but, man. I'm the worst. But if you undercut the market, here's the thing that happens. If you undercut the market and it's better quality, people will fuck with you. If this is a new business for me, and I know that comedians don't really have money, I can do a flyer for $35 or $45 if I got 10 people a day coming to me. The problem mm. is people will charge more they charge more and get less. Mm. And we was like, you fucking up my money, nigga. Like, yeah, I was like, you fucking my shit up. And then I remember then, that conversation. <laughs> yeah, I called him. I was like, yo, I'm sick of this nigga. I was like, I can't, I can't take her out though because I think she can take me. I was like, she, we, she can look me eye to eye in the regular conversation. He told me oh. that the second time I met him, he was like, the first time he was just like, mm, whatever. The second time we had a conversation, he was like, yeah, I didn't really fuck with you because you fucking at the business. And I told him exactly what I'm telling him. He, and he said, fuck your feelings. <laughs> no, but when she, as soon as she told me that, I was like, we should be a team. I'm, yeah, I, we work together now. Yeah. yeah, when he told me that, I was like, wait, what? The one you was just talking about? Yeah, I was like, she, I was like, we were on the rooftop and she said the realest shit. And you listen to that when the moon is out. When something's that's real cool. to you and the moon is out, you that's the you stick can't with you. argue with the truth. You can't argue with better. You can't argue with success. You can't argue with. There are so many things that you can argue with, but those four things you cannot argue with. Yeah, no, not at all. And so I think just uh, moving towards doing that stuff, it just it makes you better. And oh, somebody's then, phone ringing. Oh, that's uh, it may it makes you a little bit better, but what it also taught me was, over time, as you develop, you start to understand, like especially from a creative side, when you see like what people will bypass over, what people won't do, like how Tish had mentioned the stuff with her body butters, like she saw all of these people with this idea, telling them like, yo, just do this, yo, you should do this, and then not listen, and then watch it fall to the wayside. Oh, nobody <laughs> listened. And it's like, yeah, all right. let, all me, right. let me do it myself. Yep. You're getting the results that you were telling them was going to happen. And then and now it's like, okay, instead of worrying about them, now let me take all the tools that I have been giving out to everybody and use towards myself. And now we're, oh, yeah. moving, in, we're moving into the, uh, the roses section of the show. Again, the roses section is where I like to give people their roses while they're here. So uh, I'm about to compliment the shit out of y'all, just know that. So I'd already been starting with two. Let me get my phone together. Uh, I'm also <laughs> going to do that with Sosa. Sosa, you are also a prime example of that. First time I even saw Sosa, first thing I was directed to was that fucking hat he has on. <laughs> Red beanie with his logo. And I was like, what the <laughs> hell is that? And I kept looking and I was like, I was like, is that a, that look like a corporation? And I was like, what the fuck does that say? <laughs> And he told me his name. And I, was, <laughs> oh yeah, and I, can't, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't see it until you said your name. And I was like, that's a CNS. Yeah. And I, then he put his jacket on and I was like, that's the same CNS. <laughs> but it made me go, who the fuck is this nigga? And then I went and checked it out and he mm -hmm. immediately followed him and then got to know him even more. But it was because of him understanding that if you don't remember this, you're gonna definitely remember that logo. 
You're going to definitely Damn, man, something. that's uh, that, wow. Thank you, man. <laughs> I really appreciate you got it. Got it on the wall, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, about that, to ask you about that. I just I'm redesigning my office. I'm like, shoot, I kind of want the gray segments logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I made that. I made that myself, man. I actually got people hitting me up about it too, like trying to get some commission work on it. But that's hey, that's quarantine. That's what quarantine does for you. You get artsy and crafty, you know. Oh yeah, uh, no, man. Just, thank uh, you, man. Oh yeah, for sure. Just to bounce it back to Tish, as far as going with the same thing as logo, one of the I think the biggest things that if you had to take away anything Tish will ever teach you is how to make stuff look presentable. One thing she would always say is, "Um, uh, I'm gonna apologize, Tish, because I'm about to put you out there, but it is for a good reason." So this is why we pre-record. Don't punch me. <laughs> So, matter of fact, oh, I don't have to say it unless she lets me. So, I'm Tish, open. I'm honestly, Tish. Tish don't have the greatest name on paper. Like, oh, if no, you, no, if I you, know. If you typed her name in the Airbnb, it's like Chappelle said, like Draymond Green is gonna log what? up. <laughs> yeah, my my name is Super Urban. My name is Curtisha Delin Thomas. I said I was I was seeing the little thing right there, and I was thinking you using somebody else's email for the Zoom meeting. I didn't think. No. It was. <laughs> yeah, but what she had taught me was <laughs> what she had taught me, which was so valuable. Just like uh, uh, Trevor as well was that I, I'm gonna create some stuff so when they see it, you think a dude named Jebediah Goldstein owns this company, and <laughs> you will write a ten thousand dollar check. Or a million dollars check to Jebediah Goldstein before you write it to Curtisha Thomas. Yeah, yeah. So I just have to commend her because in having that understanding, this allowed people that allowed her to do what she does best to put them in front of folks that would have never given them the light of day. I've seen her take some of the grimiest, filthy mouth comedians and make them look like they could be co-hosting with Jimmy Fallon on the Tonight Show. Yeah. So she understands branding to a T and to a language that most folks don't understand. And it's just when you do decide to go against that, you can see the pieces start to fumble and fall apart. And that's not something that should ever be looked over or looked at. Oh yeah, that's just something that she does. There is a strategy that I think is so I've worked unique. for corporate my whole life. And yeah. I see, I saw what happened at the last job. I saw them go from a two room office for six people, actually a three room office for six people to a whole floor. Mm. And so when you see a startup business get investors, how they get the investors, how they have <coughs> to come in, how they have to do hiring and firing, how some people have to shift in roles, how you have to restructure yourself, how you have corporate colors, how you like all the stuff that, and I was like, I went to school for this. Right. Oh, not to mention when I got, the day I got fired, maybe a month and a half before, I had just went to Apple and swiped my corporate credit card to buy myself a new computer. Mm. Back to my office and they were like, yeah, so, you know, so we're going to have to let you go. So we need your badge. And I'm like, cool. We need your key. Cool. We need your computer. Yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to give you my computer. I just got fired and I had to look for a job. Yeah. So I'm not going to be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the job I was let go at. I yeah, I just got that. let go of my, my job. And yeah. so my manager had to fire me. He knew it was coming. They let me keep my computer. And that's nice. how I made money until I bought a new one last year. Nice. I won't, I won't say the job I had, but I definitely was like, y'all not getting this back. Just, I, I hope you <laughs> not. Like, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have to. But, uh, but continuing the roses, let me move on to uh, Trevor. Uh, Trevor, I give you a tremendous respect because, uh, of course, you know, I didn't grow up with you, but you swear we grew up together. Uh, one of the biggest things you've taught me was this thing that they put around. Boy, me. I thought you was about to make it a heart. I was like, boy, this is the cutest shit. Oh, no. <laughs> you taught me this. <laughs> and then I put it here. And now it's. Oh, I thought you. Hey, I thought you. You made I'm it sorry, play. Keep going. You, you made it play. 
Uh, no, but uh, but no, but the thing that he had taught me was uh, this society in this world will always try to put you in the box. Mm. They'll more do it so because our skin tone, because we are not of what they will try to tell you is the majority in which we truly are, and they will never allow us and they work it hard, hard as they can to make sure we don't know the greatness that we are and just how important we are to this earth. And, and this is why I regret not going to an HBCU. <laughs> See, and, I you how to navigate this white world at yeah, HBCU. As, yeah, and so, and, and I will say, this man is the closest thing that I had to an HBCU because you know I went to art school, so. This was the closest thing I had to. Ooh, it. good for you. Hey, man, look, I, I could have just had a drug dealer named Earl. And <laughs> you know, I'm a five right I'm now. Yeah, man, but, I'm 80. But I, no, but I, I, find, I do find it as a blessing because, again, because mm, people oh, met me and then people will learn about this later in the show. You know, I had a, I was, it was a very, like, dark time, like a dark cloud over me, like, and it could be seen at Apple. And, you know, for some people, they'll stray away from that and try to and steer away. And for some people, they'll see that storm coming and it's like, but yo, I see what what you can be after this is going to pass. So I'm going to help you get past the storm so mm. you can see how clear this shit is for you. And yeah. so he was one of those people that guided me, just like yourself, Tish, me being here as well. Uh, so I got to give respect of him knowing his history, being very proud of his history, where he come from, not only as a black person, but as a citizen of Houston, Texas, and knowing that history, always allowing us to be told our history from there, where we come from, where we're going, when we were here, to all of those. And not only that, how to apply that type of pride and a sense of importance to everything you do inside your work, inside your friendships, and also inside of you. So um, I almost did the hard shit. I, 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 <laughs> just make it, man. Just make it. That way it's all good. So so for, for me, <laughs> this is to all y'all. Because all y'all inspire me. All yeah, y'all so, are, so. <laughs> are super important, not only to myself, but to this world, to the people around you, to the folks that love y'all. So I just want to tell y'all, thank y'all so much for everything that you do every second of every minute to elevate yourselves to be great just know i i am always watching and i am always inspired man thank you man we really appreciate you bro doing this man this is really dope it's a really cool idea and putting us putting a platform for graphic designers is amazing yeah. man and and dope designers too like i'm glad that we just we're, we're, we're some dope designers because we could this could be a, a boring, nerdy. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, I, we right. could be talking about uh, fonts, Helvetica, and impact. I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I did. On me. Like it really. <laughs> I had a whole section for that, and I was like, "Well, the we're layers. Not <laughs> we're not doing this." I was because I sure had one. So, what, what's your go-to font? A go-to? I mean, I mean, I, I, I'll say mine. My go-to is Cooper Hewitt. That's my go-to. Mine is Helvetica. Helvetica Mine is and will always be Montserrat because it's so. I weird. love Montserrat. Yeah. Hey, what you got? What you got, Trevor? What's your go-to font? Um, it, it's it's gonna be some form of Helvetica or like what is it? Uh, is it Cooper or something? It's just like Helvetica. It's just slightly different. Or uh, yeah, I think Cooper Hewitt. Times. Cooper Hewitt is nice one, man. I actually got that from uh one of the graphic designers from All Def, uh, yeah. Natalia. She yeah. put. A, she actually made uh, all of all deaf like go to Cooper Hewitt for a minute. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I kept, I kept that going. Yeah, no, yeah. As soon as I uh, started designing for them again, I it's a nice back. one. I it's a like, nice, nice one. Time. And having the letters come in a little closer with that negative forty. Yep. Wee. <laughs> all right, all right. See, now we just had a little right, now we get into a little current, little current, you know, little, little graphic, <laughs> little graphic talk, graphic designer talk. <laughs> Let's not talk about the opacity set. we are not gonna jump into that. But man, I want to say thank all three of y'all for being on this show, for taking the time out to come be on here, being able to express ourselves as designers, like I said, as keys to the city. Um, of course, again, Trevor Fife with Chris Sosa, Tish Thomas. Uh, Tish, I'm going to start with you and then we're going to go around. Please let them know where to find you, what you're doing, what you got coming up, and just a tidbit of advice to give to anybody that be watching right now. 
Um, what I have going right now, I'm really focused on this body butter. Like all BS aside is doing very well for it to be a new business. And although people want, how are you just gonna walk off on me? I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm here with you. <laughs> walk off like, yeah. We with you, we with you. You see, no, you don't feel like shit because I was going to get shit. Thank That's you. That's why. Aye. Uh, so, wait, yep, focus is there, there you go. Ooh, so, oh, that look delicious. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a unisex sale, it comes in an eight ounce, it's a 16 ounce, you can buy the eight ounce for $20, or the 16 ounce for 36. Um, is it, is it, you have multiple flavors or just uh, I am okay, flavors you can, like you can really taste it? But I, Well, you can't really taste it, but the fact that if your girlfriend were to walk by and she smelled like a banana pudding, you would stop what you were doing, including Everything. Oh, so you see? have a kid. Hey, you I love, kid. hey, I love me some banana pudding. It, so the nostalgia it smells fantastic. Okay, so let me explain to you this. When I told them that, I was like, you have to pick on somebody's senses because black people, for the most part, love banana pudding. Mm. So anything you name after, and it's a unisex smell, but you would put your, yeah. If the game was on and she walked by smelling like banana pudding, the game would be Ooh. over. Ooh. <laughs> So yeah, women no. love it, women love it, and men love it too. And realistically, yeah. the brand alignment, I really want to get into like a lingerie space. Mm. Oh, and this thing don't drip. This thing, look. This right hey, on the laptop. Hey, hey. That's put, yeah, bro. Boy. This is. Oh. Like, yo, <laughs> this is Dig your finger in it. Dig your finger in it. Hey, 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 okay, this is getting this is getting real, real sexual. Wait, no, Hold on. Hey, that. This guy. Y'all know it. Y'all know what that sound is. Drop the horns on it one time. <laughs> oh man. Hey, I tell you what, that's gonna get some sales skyrocketing. Right? What? People are gonna be like, I want this butters. <laughs> I'm gonna just hold them over. Hey, what's the website, Tish? Where can I order it from? So yes. the website is being redone because I'm never satisfied with anything, but you can right. log on to any of my social media and DM me. And I'll the other it. worst part about being a designer, never yeah. satisfied. I'm never. not satisfied with it. And when I, do, when I do launch a site back up, there will be different flavors. There will be body scrubs. There will be sprays, mist. Like I'm working on so many different things within this body butter situation. Candles, like, fuck it, all out. Coming, yeah. Sosa, let them know, give us, oh no, I'm sorry, Tish, one more piece of advice, my apologies. There you go. Good advice. Um, oh, where you can find me. So all of the social media links for At The Body Butters, you can find me at graysegments.com. You can also find me, honestly, Tish, on everything, all social media too. And one piece of advice, um, always be prepared for opportunities that may or may not be visible. Mm. Great. Mm. And that would question you constantly understanding what your potential is. Yeah, I rock with that. Uh, Salsa? Oh man, uh, you guys can find me on all social platforms at Cristino Sosa. Uh, that's my full name, C R I S T I N O Sosa. And uh, <clears throat> uh, what is what, what are my uh, uh, advice? I would I would say, man, uh, as for for graphic designers especially, um, stay out the comments, man. Don't be don't don't do the I'm a graphic designer. I could do a cartoon. I could do a flyer. Oh make you do a cartoon. I could do this animation. Look. Look, stop spamming. <laughs> do not stop spamming. They are ignoring it. Okay. I remember T.I. I mean, not T.I. T-Pain made a post about this. Oh, no, no. T-Pain said it on uh, Big, Big Boy's Neighborhood. He was like, if I see a, a, a comment from a graphic designer, I block them immediately. <laughs> and I'm like, yo. And, and, and there's, there's other ways to do it. Like Tish said, she took initiative. She made a whole website. That's what you got to do as a graphic designer. You got to take initiative, design something for them already. Right. Show them, give them, give them. And, and then even with Kevin Hart, when they're like, design me uh, something for this one quote. And, you know, I gave them like 
10, 15 options of the same quote, but different things. Like you gotta, you gotta like, you, you, one, do multiple options and take initiative. That's what I'm gonna say as, as a graphic designer, make it already for them, show them. You gotta show them what you, what you could do, how, you, how it can be better. You know what I mean? Your portfolio, you could always hit them with like, oh, this is my link, this is what I've done, but show them what you could do for them. Design their logo, redesign something, but hey, what you think about this? You know? Yeah. That's the, that's what the- Believe it or not, they will pay for it. Um, girl, that's about the body better. Hey. <laughs> the people so that, um, yeah, they'll pay for it. They're not gonna try to get over on you for free just because they can. Right. They do, they do pay for it. Right. Right. Oh yeah. So, and sometimes um, sometimes doing things for free. But but that, that that'll get you the job. That'll get you the job and then boom. Yeah, it's, it's, an, open, it's an investment. It's for free if you open if it's gonna open a door. If the possibility mm-hmm. of the door opening is yeah, you can do it for free. Right. That's the thing too. You've done something for free without a door opening up. Yeah. So if one more will open, no, I thought the door would open. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't do her website because I didn't think the door would open. I knew. No, but again, but again, too, it's it's not it's not a stress off of you. You're not at that point like, oh, I gotta do one more free thing. It's like, no, I'm pretty sure if I do this, this right. is right. Yeah. But now yeah. you start looking at it like that rather than a defeatist attitude. I'm sure that's not right. a word, but I went to public school. And I it is a that. it is a word. You're correct. Okay. <laughs> My mom fucked me up with rememberize because that no, sounds that like not. a real word, but it's not. Remember, <laughs> rememberize. She was like, Did you rememberize your stuff for uh, this bad <laughs> test today? But it could be if we make it so. Yeah, I was like, Mom, that don't that just don't sound. He said right. it with confidence. I would I would have responded back like I haven't had time to rememberize it. Oh, like, I did. That's the exact. She Jedi mind tricked me, and then I started getting to school, and I was like, I didn't. That's how you say that. But again, uh, Mortal Kombat tricked us to thinking combat was spelled with a K for you. Yeah. So you know. Hey, genuine, genuine messed me up trying to spell genuine. But we're not going to ask either here or there. Bro, but, uh, but I'm with you. But I'm with that's you. hilarious. <laughs> yes, Trevor, give us your rundown, man. Well, Chris, what's your, uh, what's your, um, Advice? your, um, like oh, your well, email well, or your social or whatever? For, for stay out the comments and take initiative. But uh, what'd you say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was saying, what's your handles? Oh, yeah, yeah. At Cristino Sosa. At yeah, okay, right. Cristino Sosa. Yeah. Do you uh, guys have all your domains for your first and last name? I do. Uh, I, I, I just do, I just, I have, I have Chris Sosa.com. Yeah. I have Chris Sosa. Yeah, I don't, I don't I have, Thomas yeah. and Curtis Thomas. I think. Yeah. I have, yeah. My, uh, I have my legal name and my stage name already. Yeah. yeah I got a couple of them. Yeah. Just kind of sitting. Yeah. Man. I'm, um, I want to, I want to get Sosa. I want to get at Sosa so bad. I'm oh, trying to get that thing from him. I just got some game to put you guys up on, especially if you're a designer. If you have more than like 10 domains, you can buy into a club at GoDaddy. And they give you your domains half off. What? And you don't have to pay the redemption. If you let one of them expire, you also don't have to pay the redemption fee. They just go back and get it. I was like, oh, you can have this 112. Right. Hey. I, was, I was one domain away from knowing that. And I got rid of, uh, what did I get rid of? I got rid of, oh, I got rid of IDEM. Uh, I had a bunch of them. I never heard that. Yeah. No, nah, they, 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 yeah, they, they just started that because yeah. they told oh, right. me this they popped it in the, Yeah, I saw it in the email as well, too, because uh, mm. I needed because I wanted to see about I'm going to start grabbing up spelling my name O-A-H at the end because people that a lot of people spell it like that. So I'm going to try to grab that for everything as well, too. Gotcha. What you got, uh, Trey? Yeah. What you got, T? Um, advice wise, it's kind of what everybody said, but mine and what I would tell Will all the time is put yourself where you want to be. Um, it's a choice. It's an option. You have the power, the personal power to do literally whatever it is you want to do. So as a designer, you know, like the examples that y'all gave, if you want to go design for such and such person, go do it. You know, for this company, go do it. Create a mock-up. Get to them. Walk in their office. Go post up. You know, don't. And also never sacrifice yourself for it. Uh, like what Tish is doing, like that body butter is ridiculous. Mm. So it's like invest in yourself, but also, you know, put yourself free. where you want to be. Crazy. The biggest part, um, to piggyback off what you said, the biggest part about advice is for graphic, when I say design for yourself, you're the one who gets the most, who gets, who does the most and gets the least out of products. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Does the most, you are literally giving somebody a way to make money and you ain't did that for yourself. You're not a graphic designer. You literally can build anything. 
Yep. Yeah. And, and people don't get it. People don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, T, where can they find you at as well? Uh, everything is T Piper Media, T P I P E R M E D I A. It's been there, like I said, for like 20 years. So, it's the same thing, same phone number. Ain't going nowhere. <laughs> hey, 832, been the same thing yeah. well, wow, since I got a cell phone, boy. Still in there. Uh, uh, coming yeah. up, just still working on, you know, various projects, but uh, I'm going to drop my apparel line um, pretty soon called Sleeping Giant. I've been working on that for a minute. Um, probably design wise, because people don't respect it, but I'm gonna start selling like a full just graphic sheet mm. where people that understand it can get it. You know, it's like it's a whole sheet of vector images, you know, like stuff that we may get. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A site, right. But creating our own. So I'm gonna create some stuff like that, like template things. That people can just copy, and move on. You know, like get out of my face with that little bit. Oh, I'm girl. definitely spent some bread on uh, on some <laughs> graphics, on some vectors. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, and there's there's other ways to trace, but sometimes you you, you they don't come out all the way you want it. So because you know, I've I've had some Shutterstock where I try where I where I've you know just copy Word. and paste and trace that thing, but sometimes you know you gotta you gotta uh, you know pay a couple of dollars to get Word. it. Word. You know, save save <laughs> save the trouble. There is a program, and I ain't gonna. I'm not gonna even spill that game on this podcast. Because right, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> you have to go find. Yeah, but if you have two hundred dollars, and you're a graphic designer. Figure it out. Figure out what you need to buy for two hundred dollars. That will make your life so much easier. Oh yeah, yeah. you gonna you we gonna have to get that email. Uh, uh, Tish, you gonna have to send that over. <laughs> no, I got you, Chris. You've already put in the work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, yeah, it's time for you to get your award. So, so that's yeah, all you, that means. Your roses. You gonna get your roses yeah. when this conversation goes out. But like, literally, will save your entire life. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Yes. Oh indeed. yeah, man. Yes, indeed. It's gonna make it so much more easy for you to get money. But nobody. I went to school. Like, I literally went to school. I had to go to work for somebody else. I, I man. paid my dues. So once I found right. this, this loophole. To graphic design, Ooh. it's a loophole. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, Remember, man. I used to send you packets to cheat on like video games, and you be like, "Oh, you could be to level 100 that cheat day." Code. Yeah, yeah, it's a cheat code. Nice. Trust, trust, trust me, so I'll it's take the, it. It's the best 200 you've ever spent. Believe me, it will. Oh, be. I'll nice. take it. Oh, I'll take it. Hey, you already know how I pray things. That's that's a logo. <laughs> that's yeah. a logo. <laughs> yeah, so trust me, bro. That's gonna be that's gonna be the greatest logo you made. You're going yeah. to be able to build out a corporation because of the information I'm about to give you if you choose. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that'll yeah. work. That'll yeah. work. That's the inner circle information. <laughs> yeah. 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 You gotta pay. Love it. Extra Love it. Hey, like Tish said, y'all gotta work for it. You gotta work for it, man. You gotta put it. You gotta put it in that time. Yeah. And trust yeah. me, it's, it's worth it. So, but uh, of course, for me, y'all can find me at everything at uh, Will Ferro. Uh, all social media handles and stuff like that. Of course, I'm working with uh, the Arcade Tokens. You can find us at Everything Arcade Tokens. Uh, working with All Dev Gaming and Cannabis uh, as a creative director. So, curating both of those channels. So you can check me out there. You can check out my YouTube, like uh, for this show, my uh, Let's Play show on Twitch where I'm playing video games. So, always got something in the works to check me out with. And so, um, one advice I would always give somebody when you wake up, um, before you go look in the mirror, why when you looking in the mirror, you walk in, always go to yourself. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Believe me, it just gives you a whole different type of confidence. You just walk out, pop it. There he is. Like, <laughs> oh man, that's tight. That's tight. I'm here. I'm here today. And then you can get your day started. So, um, no, that is hilarious. <laughs> a six five. Well, I'll tell you, six three, six three. Big old dude, Dredge is coming. There he is. There he is. <laughs> I think I can start my day now. Hey man, well, I'll tell you what, man. Thank you so much for doing this again. I can't thank you enough. And you know we love you because we went two hours in this thing. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah this yeah, is yeah. Wow. Uh, this, this is this is fun. Yeah, it's three o'clock in this thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah, I man. What's five over there in Houston? They style, but yeah, right. man. I appreciate y'all being on here. Thank y'all so much. Thank you again. Thank you for everybody that's gonna be listening. Make sure y'all check out the uh, Will Farrow show. A lot more episodes coming. A lot more guests. A lot more dope conversations. And another, another one. Another one. <laughs> I want to thank.
gave my keys to the keys to the city, Trevor Pfeiffer. Be Christmas. great because they don't want you to be great, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, just promise, man. They don't want y'all to be great out here, but <laughs> they just gonna have to accept it because I just had a panel of greatness on this episode, and I appreciate y'all being here. And so, and thank you guys, thank you, Tr- uh, Tish, thank you, uh, Trevor. Yo, I'm y'all, y'all. Re- like Chris Osa, as soon as I get off this thing, you gonna be like, nigga, where have you been? Hey, I'm I'm ready for it, and I'm ready for that uh for that butter too. I want to get that body butter too. So oh, she yeah. hey Sosa, and she down the street. She, really, she Sosa stay downtown. Right corner from each other. Hey, I'm right here, oh, I'm right across the street from the convention center. Thirty six. Hey, I'm mean? pulling up. Come yes. on, trust me, bro. Go get your butter. Believe me, Go get your butter. <laughs> All right, All right we'll, we'll catch y'all next time. All right, y'all.